Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Well, before I even get into the barn, look what we got going on over here. What's going on, Matt? The hydraulic line that runs from the hydraulic pump to the lever that raises and lowers the booms on our skid steer loader got a hole in it. How did it get a hole in it? It just rubbed through over time. So how's it going fixing it? Yesterday we got it out. And as you can see, pretty invasive uh, little bit of work we're doing here because this line runs through the machine, below the motor, but above the fuel tank and protections on the bottom. So we took off all the things that we could. We managed to get it out without dropping the fuel tank out of it because we thought we were gonna have to. So now we just have to see if we can get it back in without having to drop the fuel tank out of it. You guys did a lot of work. Good job. Have fun with that, Matt. Oh, it'll be a blast. Oh boy, guys, I'm late. I'm late. I, you know why I'm late? There's Gatorade on this hay bale. And Gatorade only means one thing. <laughs> That's right, there you are. <laughs> I knew you were here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay, I was late too. Did you see all that's going on up there? With the, the skid steer loader? Yeah. Shoosh. Gavin, I have not one, but two surprises for you. Two whole surprises? What are they, Joel? Follow me. What is this, Joel? I think you're gonna like it. While Gavin's opening the package, they got the hydraulic line all the way through. Nice. Hey, hey. Oh, sorry. Who's unboxing sorry, is sorry. this? Huh? Joel, you got me a box? Flip it over. A box? Yeah, our friends over at Hysia wanted to send you a new pair of boots. They saw what you were wearing and decided you needed something better. What's wrong with my shoe hole? So you guys know that Hysia has been with the videos for a little bit. I've been wearing their boots for a little while and I've been really enjoying them. Megan's been really enjoying them. Now it looks like Gavin's gonna get to enjoy them as well. How do they feel? Nice. By the way, it seems like you've gotten a head start on me on feeding. Only with manure. Well, either way, I appreciate it. So if you guys are interested in checking out the boots, there's gonna be a link down in the description below. And anything that you do decide to purchase from Hysia does help out the channel a little bit. So Hysia, thank you so much for sending Gavin another pair of boots. You guys didn't have to, but we really appreciate it. And I do too. These are nice. What's the other surprise, Joel? Oh, you'll see. I have one word for you. Manure. I'm excited already. Good news. Grain is in the stalls. The hay is in the stalls. And all the mock buckets are out of the stalls and into the aisleways. And based on how things are looking, Gavin, how would you rate today's manure day? Today is probably gonna be a super duper manure day. Probably four loads. Four loads is a real good guess, Gavin. I'm gonna say three and a half. And as for the weather, it is gorgeous outside today. The temperature is getting as high as 60, 60 degrees, guys. And look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. All the horses are naked. And that's just how they like to be. Look at Leia, loving it. Everyone's so happy that the weather's finally looking nice. We were here this morning and looking at the horses. Some of them were even out in the pasture eating grass. Do you know how exciting that is, Roni? Of course he knows how exciting that is. Gavin's over here feeding the donkeys. Come on, boys. Food time, food time. Yeah, there you go. Over here, right in the bucket, Buster. Right in the bucket. There you go. Oh. Can you believe with the nerve of that Rocky? I think Poncho's ready to go. Sounds like a plan. By the way, Gavin, what do you think of Tucker's new sign? I love it. All right, Poncho's in. Let's let the middle field in. Looks like all the horses are in except for Rebel. Not a shocker. Good morning, Roni. Good morning, William. Good morning, Champ. We'll talk about why there's a fly mask on Champ in a minute. Hey, Casino. Hey, Jack. Hey, George. Good to see you guys. Rebel! Oh, Rebel. George, remember you gotta get all four hooves in the stall. All four hooves. Go ahead, buddy. Good boy. There we go. Atta boy, champ. I'm told Rebel's on his way. We just gotta wait for him to take his time. Joel, come quick before you miss it. Rebel's coming at a full gallop. Really? Look at that blazing speed. You and I are gonna have to talk about what a gallop means later. I know what it means. Good morning, Rebel. I think Spitfire was about to run me over. Right, Declan? Danny knows what I'm talking about, Ace Wade. <laughs> Skywalker. Hey, Duke. Look at them all coming in. Who's Tucker? Who's Weather? Yeah, these are the questions. Good morning, Sriracha. Good morning, Obi. Good morning, Gavin. Good morning, Samson. Hey, Argento. Good to see you, my dude. Hey, Archer. 
Let's see here. Uh huh. All right, guys. Who do you think is the one horse that's still all the way down at the hay feeders? You guessed it. It's Docs. Come on, Docs! <laughs> what are you barking at? She doesn't even know what she's barking at. But Dox is on his way. And it looks like Rocky's watching. Nice of you to join us this morning, Dox. Good to see you, buddy. Better late than never, as they always say, right? Well, now that all the horses are in, Gavin, are you ready for your second surprise? I think I'm ready for my second surprise. All right, we worked all hard, me and the viewers, on the last video to surprise you with this. Check it out. What? Oh yeah, that's right, Gavin. The viewers worked extra hard and were exceptionally generous and donated not enough money and gift cards for us to be able to actually get this extension on the wagon. Can you think of all the manure we can haul now? So much more manure. I told you it was a good surprise. It was two for two with the surprises today. Man, you must be on cloud nine today. Try cloud 11. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, Gavin. I am too. All right, so here's the big question. We asked you guys in the comment section below, but sadly that video hasn't gone live yet, so we haven't gotten your answer. So Gavin, here's the question. How many muck buckets did the wagon hold? Uh, I think on average, probably about eight buckets. Okay, so if this could hold eight buckets on average, and of course, we're gonna heap it. So what do you think? I'm thinking it used to hold eight. I'm thinking 14 now. That's my guess, 14 muck buckets. I'm gonna go a little less than you and say 12. Mm. I'm so curious what you guys guessed. We'll see, it's time to find out. Keep coming, straight back, straight back. Keep coming, a little bit more, six inches. Four inches, two inches, boom. Now Gavin and I talked and he said that this is not the way he likes to do it. He likes to do the other wagons first, but because I got to take hay out, he has decided he's gonna do this wagon first so that we, we get to see exactly how much muck buckets it holds. This guy's a legend. Hold it up, Gavin. Can you be the cameraman? Let's count them. we'd be getting close to capacity. That's seven. See, now this would be the one where we'd spill, isn't it? wouldn't it, Gavin? Yeah, it'd spill a lot, probably. So you were right, eight. Now let's see how much we can actually fit on it now. Guys, you are absolutely awesome. That is incredible. That's so awesome, thank you. This is just about double what I take out every week. It makes taking out the manure from just the barn so much easier. This was almost the entire amount of manure that was in the barn, and this is just one trip. And we're gonna see how this goes. Normally when I have to pick it up to dump it, pretty difficult because it's how heavy it is. We'll see if I'm even able to pick it up easily. It was definitely harder than normal, but it was still pretty easy. Mainly just because of gravity. And just like that, it's back to being empty. And with one load, half of manure day is already done, which is pretty sweet. Gavin's doing a fantastic job on manure, and that wagon's helping out a lot. However, I got the Veggie Boys pallet forks over here. They let me borrow it so I can get these large square bales taken out. So let's grab some bales. Well, I don't know about you guys, but it definitely makes my tractor look real small when you got a bale that big on front. Anyway, let's see. You guys remember in the last video, I did that test with the baler twine. Notice what's left? Nothing but baler twine. I'm honestly pretty impressed. They did a really good job with this. Woo! Go Gavin! I love having Gavin here, man. It's nice having another guy helping on the job. square bale in there, it's nice. Should only need to take one more out. You can definitely tell that the sun is out and that the grass is growing. We only needed to put two bales out, which is awesome. Now you might be wondering, why are we cutting the strings on this bale, but not the other one? The simple answer is that this feeder does a much better job of keeping the hay inside. 
so we don't need to keep the strings all together with the large square bale. We can cut them off and get them out, which is definitely nice. Gavin, thank you for the assistance. Of course. How's manure going? It's done. Wow. So what, what is our load count for today? For the total, three. Three loads. What would have today been? What were we thinking, four? Uh, four for just the barn, six in total. Wow. You guys see that? That's a lot of time that we now have to talk to you and film things. Woo! All righty, let's move things on over to Daily Care. Of course, we're gonna start things off with Champ, who got a little bit of a boo-boo on his eye. So what we're doing is we're checking out to see how that eye looks. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. Looks like the fly mask is doing a good job. We put fly masks on the horses as a way to keep dirt and dust out of their eyes, especially when their eyes are irritated. His eye was tearing a little bit. So we'll put this back on and Champ's good to go. And you guys already are aware that we're working on treating Archer with Banax for taking care of that scratches that's on his legs. Can't thank you guys enough for this good stuff. And so right here on his leg, you can see, we just gotta work right in this area. We think what had happened was during the rain event that we had, Rainwater was just sitting there on his leg, not going anywhere. So it created a little infection there, which we're actively treating. But other than that, Archer's set and good to go, which takes things on over to Gavin. We are working on treating Gavin's legs. As you guys are aware, Gavin had some hair loss on his legs. Things are drying down and getting better. But since we stopped applying the Banex, he stopped healing in classic thoroughbred fashion. So we're gonna have to reapply the Banex to get him back to exactly where he needs to be. You're okay, Gavin. Good boy. You guys can see that his hair is coming back. Just not as thick as it is up here. Gotta make sure we get both sides. Good deal, good deal. Those are the only horses that have problems right now, which is quite nice. So we're good to turn all of them out. We're here with the donkeys. You can see they're enjoying some food that they got. Right, Buster? Right, Buster? Oh, you're all covered in hay, huh? You like your back being scratched? Huh? Oh. It's on nice warm days like this. That it's always nice to come out and spend some time with the donkeys. Right, Buster? Right, Rocky? Rocky, spend some time with you. Right? Spend some time with you. There we go, Buster. That's about all I got from Rocky. He warms up to you after you've been out here with him for a while, but there's something else I wanted to show you guys. Check it out. That's right, guys. If you wanted something to show you that spring is on its way, the horses are eating grass. Just the simple fact that there's grass out there and they're finding it is an amazing sign. On account of it being so beautiful today, here you go, boys. You got access to both pastures. There you go, Buster. Go ahead, Rocky. I don't mean to scare you. Go ahead. Here you go, bud. They love having a little extra room to run around and for lunch, we ended up having some sloppy joes, which was quite fantastic. Now we've got the trailer hooked up and Gavin and I are heading out to get some grain. We made it back with the grain. A slight problem happened. Joel messed up the grain. Well, let's put blame where it actually lies. It's the trailer's fault. It's actually stacked quite solidly. I mean, it, it maintained its form, didn't it, Gavin? Yeah, that's true. We've got a new plan. Instead of using Joel's tractor bucket, we're gonna back the trailer right here through the middle field just for a bit into the exercise area, right up to the door that we let the horses out of. And it'll be, it'll be a little bit of walking back and forth on my part to get the bags to Joel in the feed room, but I'm fine with that. Well, there we go. Honestly, it's a pretty cool sight. Like if we needed to load a horse or something that was being uncooperative right from the barn into the trailer, we could do it. Gonna have to store that up here, Gavin. Well guys, check it out. Gavin has the trailer completely emptied and all the feed is inside the feed bins where they belong. Which means now we need to park this trailer. Are you ready to get this out of here? 
Let's do it. All right, so here's the plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull forward. That way Gavin can close the door, back the trailer through that gate and down, and then I can pull straight up and out. So that's the plan. Let's see if I'm able to actually do it. Well, now that we got that trailer parked, what we're gonna do is get started with afternoon feeding. So that means getting all the grain measured out, like for Samson here, and moving that into the stalls. We gotta check and see how they're doing. With it being so warm outside and so nice, we're not gonna have any problems. Who here wants to go on a quad ride with Gavin? Gavin, they really wanna go on a quad ride with you. Do you mind taking them? I heard a handful say no, but take them. Everyone said yes, it was universal. Okay, let's go. Uh, do you guys know how to drive a quad? Because I'm leaving that up to you. Look at that. We wrangle them up right away. So what do we all, do we just have to turn the quad on now to bring them in? Is that all we got to do? No, it was all the viewers. They went down there and got them super quick. Good job, guys. Gavin, let's give them a round of applause. I think they still want to go for a ride with you. Why don't you take them out and show them some of the sights? Got it. So right down the hill, we got the bottom of the donkey's pasture where they're here getting a drink ready to see us. They came down here just for us. Hi, hey, Buster. Rocky. And this is an amazingly beautiful small tree. And this is an open field on the other side of the pasture. Kind of see right there. That's the barn. As you can see from the amount of manure left around here, the horses do come up here rather often. There's a lot of grass that's uninterrupted up here, not much mud, so it makes it perfect for them to graze. Right up the hill a little bit from where we just were, we have the border fence. And on the other side of the fence, you can see some of the Veggie Boys property where they had just grown some corn. This has been a little tour of our pasture riding with me. I can see from here, Joel is starting to turn out some of the horses, so let's get back there. You guys have fun? It looks like you guys had some fun. That's awesome. Let me know if you guys want to do a ride with Gavin again in the future. So feeding is completely wrapped up, but we're gonna use the big tractor to get the truck unloaded as fast as possible. I hope you guys are excited because it's a different day. It's Wednesday. As you can tell by Gavin's attire, he is the cameraman for the entirety of the clips that you're about to see. And we need to get this hay into the barn. Wait. I would like to get the 20 bales in here. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is move these over and stack that one up and then put the rest inside here. Gavin, do you think it's possible? Um, I don't know fully how you're gonna do it, but I think it could be possible. Hmm. Well, it's time to get started. So we're a little bit into it now, and there's been absolutely no problems. Except for this mat was torn in not just one, but two places. But other than that, there hasn't been a single problem. Except for also this door was knocked off its hinges. But it's okay, it was an accident. Joel didn't mean to do it. At least that's what he told us.
Alrighty guys, check it out. We got everything put away and we ended up needing actually to put some large square bales out here. We're learning as we go. The good news is that we got all 20 under roof and it's about to rain tonight. So we got it taken care of. Gavin, I'm hungry. Are you ready to go home? Very. All right. If you haven't, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. How many bales of hay do you think we're gonna need next year? In case you're wondering, right now we are at 200 large bales that we have acquired. So that's kind of crazy to think about right now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.